What's up guys, Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles, and I realized I just did a video like this, but there are enough new bonuses that I really wanted to make a new video for July and keep you updated because I always emphasize just how much a transfer bonus can change things. I know the cents per point metric is never really the best way to judge a redemption, but it is a tool and it's fun sometimes to verify that you are getting exponentially more value than team cash back. Obviously, this only really applies when you need to travel or if you are team travel. In this video, I'm going to go over all the current transfer bonuses. I'll give you some examples of what the program might be able to do for you, and then I'll say whether I think it's a good use of your transferable currencies. Just remember, some of this is my opinion, and if you think I have it wrong, please enlighten me. I'm very open-minded and I will admit I probably haven't thought about every single scenario. But first, if you are new to the channel, I talk about credit cards, points, miles, cash back, and travel. To stay up to date on these topics, subscribe to the channel. And if you get any value at all from this video in particular, let me know by slapping that like button so we can notify the YouTube algorithm. Now with all that out of the way, let's get started. Let's start this off with everyone's favorite issuer, Chase Bank. Chase has a couple bonus offers running right now. The first one is a really good one, 20% bonus when transferring your ultimate rewards points to Air Canada's Aero Plan. This bonus is good until July 31st, so you have some time. Aero Plan is a Star Alliance partner, and they also partner with some of the Middle Eastern carriers. The frequent miler counts Aeroplan as one of the most powerful transfer partner in the game. I recently booked JFK to Frankfurt, Germany on Singapore Airlines using Aeroplan miles and it was a fantastic deal. I will let you guys know how the actual product is as soon as I return. Aeroplan points have a shelf life of 18 months and you can reset that clock by earning, redeeming, transferring, or converting them. So pretty easy to keep them active if you stay on top of it. Is Aeroplan a candidate for a speculative transfer? That's a tough one. I think if you use them regularly, then yes, but if not, these bonuses come around fairly often, so maybe you just wait. Guys, if at any time you want to learn about the cards that will earn these transferable currencies, check out my super awesome organized card link in the description below. Using my link really helps the channel, and it allows me to do mostly unsponsored content which is what you, the audience, prefer. Chase has a new bonus, and this one is also good until July 31st. The bonus is a 70% bonus to IHG. Now on the surface, this might sound pretty good, but just wait and hear me out. IHG points can oftentimes be purchased at a 100% bonus. Here's what I mean. Scenario number one. Transfer UR points to IHG with a 70% bonus. You'll transfer 100,000 UR points and you'll get 170,000 IHG points. Well, take that same amount of UR points and cash them out. Then purchase IHG points. 100,000 UR points cashed out, $1,000. You can purchase 200,000 IHG points. So you'll do a lot better cashing them out and purchasing them. You'll also earn some rewards. I would strongly discourage you from transferring your UR points directly to IHG. Does that make sense? If not, comment below for some clarification. Some things about IHG points though. You can find some really great value, but I do want to point out two things about the program. One good, if you hold one of the IHG credit cards, your fourth night is free on award bookings. That's a scenario in which those IHG points will really show their true value. The bad, IHG Resorts properties will charge you the resort fee on your award bookings. So if you are booking a resort with points, you might be expected to pay an additional $80 a day to the resort. Now on to Citibank. This one is good until July 22nd, and I have to admit, it's a program I'm less familiar with than some of the others. 
When you transfer your city thank you points over to Cathay Pacific Asia Miles, you'll get a 15% bump. One redemption use I want to mention is unique. Using Asia Miles, you can fly from the US to Europe via Hong Kong for 125,000 Asia Miles in first class. Not business, first class. That's JFK to Hong Kong to London, 125,000 miles. It's booked as a stopover and it could get you a really cool trip. And I've actually always been really interested in Hong Kong. I also want to mention with Asia Miles, you can book Qatar Q Suites to the Middle East for 75,000 miles. Think Washington DC to Doha in Q Suites. Pretty cool redemption. Do I think this 15% bonus is worth a speculative transfer? No. And Asia Miles expire after 18 months unless you redeem or earn more of them. Next up we have Capital One and in my opinion this is a great bonus. From now until July 31st, you can transfer your Capital One miles to Flying Blue with a 20% bonus. Flying Blue is the program used by Air France and KLM. This is actually one of my favorite partners and I think they bring the house as far as value. I have used them to book business class flights to Europe, but they can also be used to book Delta flights domestically. I got a very high redemption booking with Air France business class from Washington DC to Prague. I don't want to seem like I'm promoting Flying Blue, but they are one of my favorites. Will I be transferring? I'm not sure. I don't have a ton of Capital One miles, but I also have some Flying Blue miles that have kind of been orphaned in that account. So it might make sense to take advantage and have enough for a business class redemption in that program. Flying Blue miles will expire in two years unless you fly an actual Air France or KLM flight. You can also avoid this if you carry any type of status with the Flying Blue program. I saved American Express for last because they just introduced a couple interesting ones here. Through August 31st, you can transfer your Amex MR points to either British Airways Avios or Iberia Airways Avios with a 30% bonus. Now this is a bonus I am a little bit torn on. I really like the fact that British Airways is sometimes a great way to book American Airlines flights domestically. And I just booked three tickets from Columbus to Grand Cayman Island for next year at a super good deal. I had British Airways Avios left over from the last 30% bonus. My problem is I hate their fuel charges when traveling to the UK. Iberia uses the same currency and I think that is a great way to travel to Spain, which I've been considering for next summer. I want to take my son to Spain, but I'm not sure if that is high enough on the list to take advantage of this transfer right now. But if you do plan to go to Spain, then I think it's fine. One example I think worth mentioning is Chicago to Madrid in the off season can be done for 42,500 avios for a business class seat. Iberia can also be used to book short domestic flights on American Airlines. With these programs, you have 36 months to use them, but there are plenty of ways to avoid the expiration. Guys, that is the newest edition of the transfer bonus videos. If you plan on taking advantage of any of these, please drop a comment and let us know how you're using that program. When we all give examples, we all learn. If you're not executing any of these transfers, drop a comment below and tell me which bonus you're waiting for. My time is up guys and that's all I have for today. Slap that like button if you want more videos like this and if you've stayed around all the way to the end, I appreciate it and I want to thank every single one of you.